Hello Aries! Welcome to your reading for the second half of April, the 15th to the uh, 31st. 30 days of September, April. No, 30th. No, yes, yes, yes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I hope you guys had a really happy birthday. You had a really fun Aries season. Aries season for me, I've learned, is pretty intense. My Venus is in Aries. Um, I've never really been conscious enough to experience it this way, but let me tell you, it's been a strong one. Very illuminating though, so that's a good thing. I'm very happy with it. And then following Aries, we're moving into Taurus, which is my sun sign. I'm so excited. But enough about that. Let's talk about you, Aries. Yeah. So we're going to get into your reading here. This is for the, fifth, the 15th to the 31st of April. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I am available for personal readings. I do do a lot of tw Twin Flame uh, readings, but that is not my only um, avenue. Um, if you want a career reading from me, if you just want a general reading, all of the readings that I have listed in the description box below can be applied to any situation that you have going on in your life, yes? So like take the mirror reading, for example, um, if you want to understand, come to a greater understanding of your relationship with another person, say it's a friend, a romantic partner, a business, um, you know, the, the relationship between you and your job or you and some of your business associates or your boss or whatever, that can be applied. OK, um, it's not just for romantic purposes. That's just an example. OK, let's get into this. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and even Venus. I'm going to throw that in there, too. Venus. Um, please bring forward the best messages for Aries for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I am being called to throw Venus in there, so I'm going to do that for all the zodiac signs. So there could be some love stuff coming up. Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like that's a topic of discussion for all of us, to be honest, because quite frankly, we all want love, don't you? <laughs> all right, Aries. One last shuffle. Let's cut the deck. Aries, Aries, Aries. All right. Overall energy, Aries, Oop, is the Knight of Swords or the Prince of Swords. Now, um, uh, we are still Mercury in retrograde. Now, Mer the retrograde ends on the 15th. So it's ending on the, 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 the time period that this video is geared towards. However, the effects of this um, phase can be felt for up to like five days after, maybe longer for some people. Energies um, don't have a definitive start and end point. They all flow, okay? So everybody's gonna feel it differently. Now, with this particular um, Mercury in retrograde for Aries has been tumultuous. I know for me in relationship situations, like in like, say my love life, um, like with my twin, things blew up and it was necessary. So I'm feeling like, um, Aries, you've really been challenged. <laughs> Not only have we been in your season, but then we've had a, a, a this Mercury retrograde. So let me tell you, Aries can be feisty, and if you rub them the wrong way, they're going to tell you about it. And that's what happened, yeah? Ten of Pentacles in reverse is talking about um, if there was a fight around you, uh, if there was an argument, um, the Ten of Pentacles is saying to me, and this is absolutely applying to my uh, personal situation, but for the rest of us, um, the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, is saying it's not as bad as it thinks, and actually it was, it's was it been facilitating the destruction or the, um, the dissolution of some not-so-beneficial uh, uh, material energies, uh, materialism, egotism, things like that. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is talking in this situation is not a blockage. It's talking about the ending of something that just wasn't beneficial on a material level. We also have the Six of Pentacles, which is talking about the balance between give and take. And here, if there was a fight for you, Aries, um, 
I'm, I'm going to say to a certain extent, it was probably just, it was justified to a certain extent. Now I'm not, the, the way it transpired, the way that this conversation or this argument happened may have been less than ideal. We are talking about Knight of Swords energy that can often, um, lead or, 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 uh, speak to like, say word vomit, um, less than tactful situations. Yes. But, um, ultimately it served a purpose. It served a purpose to bring illumination to imbalance between give and take in the relationship, okay? So don't fret. It's not as bad as you think. And then we have the four of wands underneath all of that. So a, a good, solid foundation has been fortified, if not um, put in place or, being, or, or in the beginning processes of being built or reformatted. Ultimately, whatever happened for you, Aries, within this time period before the 15th, um, is good. Uh, or it could be for you, now you're moving into this period, um, maybe the last bits of Mercury in retrograde just kind of snapped you a little bit and something popped off, but ultimately it's not as bad as it seems. We don't have the moon, at least not yet, but from what I'm picking up, from what the cards are saying, um, it's not as bad as it thinks, and actually it's serving a higher purpose, a greater good here, Okay. Into your storyline, we have the Nine of Swords, yeah, with the Princess of Pentacles. So here, look, check it out. We've got the Nine of Swords here, and initially, ultimately, that's talking about being haunted by whatever whatever the Knight of Swords is symbolizing. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you did get into an argument. Maybe you had a strong urge to say something, but you didn't, and that's okay. There is no right or wrong here. You have the choice to do whatever it is you feel is best for you. Um, uh, if you did say something, or if an argument did come to play, again, it's not as bad as it seems, and you're kind of up in your head about it. And what's really putting you up in your head is you're feeling this new, this like level up. This is the, this in this deck, it's the Princess of Pentacles, but he, uh, it's also in the traditional deck, it's the Page of Pentacles. And lately, the pages have been coming up in a sense of level, leveling up, reaching a new level. So here, for you, Aries, the, the P Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles is talking about whatever transpired, whatever transpired has brought an ending to an unfavorable situation, and now you're stepping out into a new reality, a new sense of self, a new... Um, a new physical representation of your reality. Yeah, that is in greater alignment to who you truly are or what you really want, okay? It's not the ultimate, it's not the ultimate, but it is the stepping stone towards reaching that greater fulfillment or a uh, greater representation on a physical sense of what it is you truly desire on the inside, okay? Next, we have the King of Swords. Ooh, yeah, with the justice. Now look. Look, guys, if there was a fight, understand that the King of Swords energy is here, okay? And so the Knight of Swords is saying that, yeah, things may not have been as mature and grounded um, or tactful as is desired. Now, that desire is subjective. But ultimately, you know, things may not have turned out exactly how you wanted to. But the King of Swords is standing firm and saying, nope, don't back down. You know why that happened and you knew it was for a reason. And justice, hello, justice is saying the same thing. So you've got some, someone, an individual on a physical level, a material level, and uh, on an, from an energetic point of view saying, not nah, that shit was justified. And then on a spiritual level, spirit is saying, yup, that was justified. Even if the result, like say in my situation, I reached out and it, it got, it, in, in, from, you know, on a, uh, on the surface, it looked like it blew up in my face. But okay, yeah, sure, it blew up in my face, but ultimately it was something that needed to happen to help us get to this next level, right? All right, cool. So the King of Swords is saying, nah, boo, chill, just chill. Fall back and just chill for a second and observe. Be objective, be as objective as you possibly can. See this from a higher perspective, okay? Because ultimately, it's all good, boo-boo. Next, we've got the Emperor. Aw, Pete. Hi, Divine Masculine with the Five of Swords. Yeah. So, um, 
and this is also the Aries card. So Aries, the, the emperor, you're showing up here. And I still feel like you're still a little bit in this, in this time period, you're still going to be in this highly combative, maybe even egotistical machismo, um, bullshit energy. And I say bullshit for a reason, because guys, it's bullshit. It really is. Like, look at these guys. Look at them. Oh, hi, Facebook Messenger. <laughs> look at these guys. Do you see how, like, there's this one dude on the on your left, I think it is. He looks like he's he's like full of roid rage. The other one down here on the right is kind of like looking like he's like, yeah, what you got? What you got? This other one in the back is like wasted. You know what I mean? Like this is this is not good energy. This is this is destructive energy in a way. And it's kind of how you're feeling right now, Aries. Um and I don't blame you. There's a lot of rough energy around. There's a lot of combative energy around. There's a lot of things that are showing up in your life that are that are really making you question everything. And it's kind of, it's making you angry. It's filling you with fury um, and some in rage in some cases. And it's making you just want to go out and fight people. <laughs> and if that doesn't mean physically, then that means mentally, intellectually. You just want to shut people down. But the reason, but see, understand that the reasoning behind wanting to shut people down is from um, a destructive and e egoic point of view, kind of like a defensive point of view. Like, nah, you're not going to treat me like that. And I'm going to show you m m uh, whatever. Like, you, like it's not, it's not that beneficial. All right, so be careful, okay? Be careful. This energy is going to linger a little bit. You know, even though Mercury is going out of retrograde on the 15th of April, you know, you're still going to have to deal with this, so just be cautious. I mean, the Five of Swords energy with the Prince or the Knight of Swords energy is not something I'm comfortable with. It's not what I really like to see, but at the same time, I understand why it's around. It's not like you've really done anything, Aries, to help generate this. It's kind of like you're at the mercy of the energies that are around you. So it's drumming up this energy within you, but understand that you have the King of Swords on your side that's saying, nah, just fall back. Let things play out. If you come to a position where you have to respond, just make sure you're as tactful and diplomatic as possible. Okay, the King of Swords is almost kind of hold, asking you to hold your tongue right now because the energies are so intense, all right? Moving forward, we have, yeah, the world. Endings with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so look, the world and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is reflecting what the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is saying up here, all right? There is an ending to some sort of materialism, some sort of material aspect of your life that was not healthy, that was not beneficial. And as this ends, you're coming to, a, and I'm being drawn to the sword here that this angel is holding upright, like knowledge, like, okay, I get it now. I see a brand new perspective. I understand why that was not the best energy for me, why that was not the best setup for me. Um, I get it, Aries is saying. And so now with the Ace of Pentacles, you're dropping that. Now there is, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, there is a bit of resistance moving towards this. And I'm picking up that it's coming from this Five of Swords energy. Because for some of us, or you, Aries, that are watching, that are resonating with this point, this is... This is a realization, like the, the sword here in the world is making me think of the ace of swords here. So, okay, so this is a, a realization that you're not so comfortable with. It's literally shaking up your whole life. You were at the ten of pentacles state, but now you're coming to the realization that that ten of pentacles state was not as balanced and just, not as balanced and just as you once thought it was, okay? And... That's a shakeup. We'll see if the tower comes out, but I'm not sure it will. Um, because ultimately, this is not something that you're surprised by. <laughs> and I'm laughing because there are some of you that just really was like, just like, oh, damn it, you're right. I did know this was coming. I knew I needed to change this. I knew. So the Five of Swords energy also is kind of speaking to a little bit of a temper tantrum, but that's okay. You'll get through it. Moving forward. We have the moon in reverse. Ha ha, the moon did come up, but it's in reverse with ah, the three of wands in reverse. Um, so illumination happen, is happening with the moon. Um, in some cases, yeah, you are resisting this illumination. You're like, no, I don't want to believe it, but it's it's glaring you right in your face. And with the three of wands in reverse, it's like there is there's some serious resistance here, Aries. And that's, and that's part of why you've got that five of swords energy with the emperor. Um, the emperor is, is you. Okay. So yeah. honestly, the universe is just saying to you, you just need to accept this and move on. 
because you know what you need to do. With the three of wands here, you know what you need to do, but you're in resistance to it because you just don't want to let go. You don't want to, you, don't, you, you just, it's like you don't want to accept it. And that's, it's unfair to you, Aries. Come on. Like the universe is literally handing you something here saying, look, please change this or you're just going to have to do this cycle over again, but you're in resistance to it. Okay, let go of the resistance areas. It's really not, it's not helping you because the more you resist, the more of this five of swords energy you generate. Why? Because the universe is going to keep pushing you. And the more you're in resistance to it, the more your ego is going to flare up and then things are just going to be that much more difficult for you. If the universe is pushing some sort of change on you right now, no, it is not because the universe is trying to piss you off or destroy your life. No, the universe is trying to help you. And if they're really pushing you towards something, this is something that is sorely needed, all right? Okay, I know you hear me. We have the Page of Pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. With the, uh, in this deck, it's called the Prince of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, and both of those are reversed. So there, it, here comes that resistance. The Ace of Wands is saying to you, you have spiritual knowledge, a, a new spiritual understanding that is being brought to you, but you don't want to budge. Aries is being very, very stubborn this half of the month. And that's not really fair. It's not fair to you. It's not also not fair to the people around you because ultimately there are people around you that are going to benefit from this newfound perspective that you have, this new spiritual inspiration, this spiritual awakening I'm hearing. So if you're, if you're refusing to move, ultimately you're just hurting yourself. Why? Because I just said it, you're going to have to just keep doing this over and over until you finally let go. Okay. Next. We have the Hierophant in reverse. <laughs> guys, guys, your higher selves are trying to get your in, your attention here, bro. <laughs> With, yeah, the Eight of Cups in reverse. You're refusing to walk away. Why are you refusing to walk away? What are you so attached to? What is so good? What is so great about this reality that you are, and I heard it, stuck in that you don't want to let go of? Why don't you want to let go of this? Why don't you want to walk forward? Your higher self has been saying this to you for some time now. But you don't want to hear it. And I honestly, I don't, I'm not meaning to devalue your, your feelings here. Because I understand that whatever this is, it, it did hold um, uh, a lot of significance for you. But it's time to understand that you're leveling up. We're all leveling up, okay? And so it's time to just walk forward, all right? If you're really having trouble coming to terms with anything, really connect with that King of Swords within you and say, okay, how can how objective can I be about this, all right? And if there are things that are about to be stripped from your reality, please understand that the world is telling you here, the world is telling you here, if it's being stripped away from you, it's not, does it's not, it's no longer serving your higher good, your highest good, okay? It's not, it just plain isn't, okay? Finally, in your story, Aries, we have the Six of Cups in reverse with the Star in reverse. So there is a situation here where there is a blockage coming from um, childhood trauma. Um, and that, that trauma is not, has not been healed. And the universe has been trying to help you heal it with the Star. But again, you're in resistance. And I'm really picking up that um, you're in such resistance because you lived your life in such a way in relation to whatever this trauma was in your childhood. And it is giving you um, a, a launching, a, a, a diving, or a, what is it? A launching pad um, for you to really move forward in your life. And you've really been able to build a lot of stuff. Um, you have been able to come to this Ten of Pentacles state, but now this Ten of Pentacles state is being illuminated further and you're realizing that this is not something you need to be, you should be continuing to pursue because ultimately it's not serving your higher good. So the advice here is to really connect with your inner self, with your inner child and work on this inner child healing. I think this should be your focus, Aries. If you are, if you're um, resonating with this reading right now, um, Spirit is asking you to use the next two weeks, as in the 15th to the 31st, in um, uh, with the focus on, on connecting with your inner child and healing this. 
Okay, because ultimately, once you do heal it, you'll be able to heal many more aspects of your reality, and things are really going to change. You'll really be in the place to step forward in this Page of Pentacles situation and start anew, start afresh. I'm also picking up that there is resistance to some sort of soulmate connection here, um, and but the reassurance in that is that the star is here because healing is is coming forward. Um, but again, there's this resistance happening, but it's okay. The star is ultimately, even though the star is reversed, it is saying to you, look, it's all right. <laughs> we understand. We get it. We know why this is happening the way it is happening. And we're, we are still here. This is the divine speaking. We are still here encouraging you, supporting you and loving you and gently nudging you towards where we all know you want to be. Okay. But ultimately, throughout all of this, even with the resistance and the combative energy and whatnot, you still have the four of wands underneath everything, which means, which is saying to me that, you know, there are solid foundations coming through from whatever situation you find yourself in. All right, Aries? So keep that in mind. All right. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Um... And I look forward to connecting with you guys for May. Yeah, take care. And again, if you would like a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. Much love to you guys. And I'll catch you later, Aries. Bye.